Tesla competing against Waymo, who will come out the victor? It's June, and you know what that means. Tesla's first robot taxis will be operating this month robo-taxis. in Austin, Texas, in the United States. Meanwhile, on the other side of the world, let's see how FSD supervised handles this dirt road on a fucking mountain in China. I'll tell you what, people testing this have some serious confidence in the software. I mean, brah, one mistake. Rest in fucking peace. Oh, they're trying to see how the, so the Tesla FSD is the Tesla's AI system. They're trying to see, can it stay on this road? Oh my God, that's scary. One miscalculation, if you think the road go over a little bit to the left or right, they done. Wow. That's dope, I ain't gonna lie. Pretty soon, all the cars will be like this. So then, it'll be like iRobot where we all driving 200 miles an hour on the highway and nobody, no accident that the car is all communicating. This car want to move over to the left. So all the other cars slow down. I got Waymo do that. By the way, I noticed something pretty funny. The passenger here, a bit of a white knuckle ride the entire time hanging on quite firmly. Meanwhile, the actual driver, quote unquote driver, actually the supervisor hands off the wheel the entire time. I tell you what, unless you're absolutely insane, you're not going to pull this off unless you have a high level of confidence in the software. This is mental. Clearly customers, at least in San Francisco are happy to use robotaxis. More importantly though, look at how quickly Waymo has increased its share from essentially zero. Estimated market share. Okay, so you got Uber up there, just boom, fucking leader up here in black. Lyft is going down. I think Lyft is seen as a more like a cheaper version of, of Uber. So you want to pull up to an event or something like Uber black. Wow, it's sleek. Even the sign is sleek. Lyft is like this big, purple and white thing like hey we having fun not like i'm pulling up to my board meeting we're about to discuss a uh, a 300 billion dollar merger that's like a uber you pull up in the uber black not a lift like, oh yeah when you coming we about to talk about the meeting and we about to sign the nba deal for 200 million 40 million a year for the next whatever years three years ah, i'm coming i'm getting out of my lift now i'm getting out of the uber zero to now more than a quarter has enabled waymo to do this. Just imagine what happens when Tesla begins rolling out their robot taxis first in Austin and then very quickly in many other cities throughout the United States. They already have Arizona, literally millions everything. of vehicles on roads in the US today that can be capable of operating as robot taxis once they have regulatory approval. Can you imagine that you could park your car and or then like between certain hours sign it up to, to like, okay, between uh, 6 p.m. and 12 a.m. I'm going to have this just be like this. My car is going to work for me. I own two Teslas and every night they go out downtown and I fully charge them and they go out to be robo taxis. That would be dope. Or they take something off your car note or whatever, or no car note. As long as you do a certain amount of hours as a robo taxi or something, that'd be dope. Some type of initiative. That'd be dope. Surge with a handful of vehicles relative to Tesla scale. Can you join the dots? So let's read this article with a hero image that I think features literally the entirety of Waymo's fleet, and I'm oh. almost not trolling. The title, It's Waymo's World, We're All Just Riding In It. Google's driverless taxi company just cracked 10 million rides. If you haven't taken one, you will soon. Now I'm going to skip ahead a little bit in this article. I just want to kind of get to the point here. Waymo, with a tiny fleet, has surged from almost zero market share to a massive, meaningful slice, despite having slightly higher costs than an Uber, Lyft, etc. But let's just call them comparable. After years and years and years of plugging away, and just as we hear this news, we're literally days, maybe a week or two away from Tesla beginning to operate their first autonomous. I think Waymo will have to like come in partnership with Uber. Like they got the platform, they already got people signed up. So now you're just calling a Waymo because Tesla getting into the uh, will be getting into the business, but they'll have their own fleet of vehicles already out. It's Teslas everywhere. Waymo don't got the amount of vehicles Tesla got or they don't got the riders and passengers that and drivers that Uber has. So they have to like 
they got this technology, but they got to hurry up and use it. Otherwise, they're kind of doing the work for Tesla. Like, Tesla going to be like, okay, how do they get certified in this city? Okay, how do they get certified in this city? Okay, we just do it. We just following them, but they're just bigger. Vehicles, which, by the way, cost a fraction that of a Waymo in Austin. And unlike Waymo, Tesla can scale very rapidly. We saw the whole point of the yeah. intro to the video here with that example of FSD supervised operating in China on a goddamn dirt road on a fucking mountain was just to show that what Tesla has created here is a generalized solution to autonomy. Thousand. In August, it hit 100,000. So a 10x between August 23 and August 24. And now it's already more than 250,000. And again, this is with a piss tiny fleet. And the article continues a bit further ahead. The numbers also show that Waymo's cars are self-driving towards an inflection point. They were novel, and now they're becoming normal. The article then goes on to talk about the classic adoption curve. There's early adopters, then everyone's like, well, duh, everyone should buy this thing or use this thing, like, duh. And this is an important point. Autonomous vehicles, robotaxis, about to hit the mainstream, become the new normal. Quote, at first, these innovations appeal to a niche market of tech geeks and early adopters. Only then do some of those products become part of everyday life. It tends to happen gradually, then suddenly. So it can be hard to recognize those breakthroughs in real time. God damn, what a fucking ugly ass. It's going to be super embarrassing, by the way, for Tesla to massively scale the robotaxi fleet with elegant, sleek, compelling, extremely affordable, relative to this hunk of shit, autonomous vehicles and start stealing market share away from Waymo with these butt ass. I think Waymo might be playing the long game, like getting the technology so then they'll just sell it to everybody else. Because te Tesla have their technology and their cars, and they'll be like, well, whatever, we ain't going to get this to you. We ain't going to get it to you. And Waymo will be like, okay, who? A Ford, Mercedes, BMW. Which one of y'all want to buy this from Hyundai? Which one of y'all want to buy this technology? We're going to lease it for the next 30 years to use in your car or whatever it is, like an OnStar type of thing. They put the sensors in. Waymo put the technology. AI powered by Waymo. That's the way they could beat it. They can go to the software game. It's ugly abominations they're calling robotaxis. And look, I'm, hey, look, they've not achieved autonomy in the same manner as Tesla. You of will not see not. a Waymo vehicle operating on a dirt road in the mountains in China anytime soon. In the last by what you know about driving, period, the entire area in which it will be operating to be pre-mapped in high definition with LiDAR to bounce, literally bounce lasers off shit so you know every square inch of where you're going to be driving and as long as nothing changes, no problem. This is why they've been so slow to scale. They're only in a handful of cities now. It was a literal decade ago that Waymo did its first ever ride on a public road. By the way, no exaggeration, a decade. Yet today, just in a few cities. At very small, I mean, they still have less than 2,000 total vehicles. So it was good while it lasted. Another quote. They'll just have been getting started on bankruptcy proceedings. The article continues. The real competition is just getting started too. In the coming weeks, Tesla is planning to unveil the robo-taxi service that Elon Musk has long promised. Waymo has the first mover advantage. By the way, is anyone old enough to remember the first movers in search? It wasn't Google. E-commerce. Wasn't Yahoo. Amazon. Ag Smartphones. Jeeves. Wasn't Apple. Just saying. But the company- like Yahoo or like AOL or Ags Jeeves or something like that. The company is not profitable and has burned through billions of dollars to make the surreal dream of self- That's what Uber did. That's what Lyft did. They, these tech companies burn through billions of dollars because they know once the shit up and, and moving, everybody going to come for it. Self-driving cars, a reality. The world's richest man. I don't know why they keep referring to Elon as that. Call the dude MVP of Earth. It's, it's, but the longer that Waymo has MVP the only driverless Earth. cars on the road, the bigger its lead gets. <laughs> oh, shit. The article continues to point out- I don't know. It because I don't care how popular Waymo become. If you're going to start, if people start trusting Waymos as self-driving, they ain't going to be like, oh, what's that, a Tesla? Uh, I don't want to drive that Tesla. Give me a Waymo. Like, the brand loyalty ain't going to be like that. Like that Earlier this year, Waymo entered Austin, and this summer, planning to launch in Atlanta. Next on the list are Miami, Washington, D.C., and the cars are now mapping Boston, Nashville, New Orleans, Dallas. Now they're in Tokyo. See, that's the only thing that might save Waymo, too. If Tesla has to go through all, everything they did, like if they hold the maps and stuff. So now they're like, okay, Tesla, you want to drive on our road? Then we need you to map out everything and have it in your database. We don't want to hear, well, our technology is different. And we blah, blah, blah. it's these objects if they come up. Well, no, we don't want that. We want to be like Google Maps where shit change and we put it on the map as it does. But we don't want you, your AI making decisions. So, oh, there's something right here, something right here. It wasn't here yesterday, but let's go around this way and end up in the ocean. Or they got to do a lot of tests. To prove that it won't happen. That's Las Vegas and San Diego. The company now regarding Tesla. It's 2025. 
that might just be remembered as the Waymo moment. I recently took my first Waymo on a visit to San Francisco where I ordered a sleek white jaguar. <laughs> Brother, are we really claiming this is sleek? I don't want to be a dick here. Oh, he laughing at it being sleek. I'm laughing at the way he said San Francisco. In aesthetics. This is not sleek. A bit more, as we saw earlier. Waymo's fleet now exceeds a whopping 600 cars Ooh. in San Francisco. And quote, these days, the main complaint from users is that they can't Waymo everywhere. And that's actually true. There's a lot of areas that they just can't get to outside the geofence. And look, this will be the same for Tesla initially in Austin. But my suspicion is they'll massively scale extremely quickly. This will very rapidly become a non-issue. <laughs> oh, God. Goes on to mention Waymo's LiDAR plus radar and 29 cameras. <laughs> I still can't believe this fucker called this a sleek vehicle. My God. This thing is legitimately uglier than your girlfriend. Skipping ahead again. Most companies that tried to beat Waymo have given up. Uber and Lyft ditched their efforts to develop self-driving cars. Government Motors. You did it, Mary. Scrap See, I don't think Uber really ditched their efforts. I think they just like, hey, Waymo, if you have become big enough, let's do it together. It's Cruise Robotaxi program, by the way, after a massive safety scandal slash cover up. I covered that on the channel at the time. Amazon has Zooks, but Waymo's most formidable rival in America at this point appears to be Tesla. No shit, Sherlock. The two companies have taken radically different approaches to the technology and economics of autonomous cabs. Tesla's model runs on cameras and AI. In addition to loads of AI, Waymo's system also relies on maps, sensors, and human feedback, which makes it so expensive. The company raised $5.6 billion of funding last year when Alphabet's Other Bets division, which includes Waymo, reported a $4.4 billion loss. That's cool, Other Bets. It's like they might have a company which they go on to, but it's like, hey, just in case they get it, we're going to make a, we're going to hedge our bets, Other Bets. Division. Quote, the issue with Waymo's cars, <laughs> Elon Musk said in April, quote, is they cost Waymo money. By the way, this truly is a massive issue over the long term. Transport as a service, it's like a utility, an internet machine, it's disrupt as they realize this. The question is, have they? Want more content? Early access? Bunch I like this thing. Shout out to this man and his channel. What is this? Uh, solving the money problem. Oh, hopefully you solve mine. But which one y'all going? Waymo or Tesla? I feel like I touch, trust Waymo, but Tesla kind of like China right now. Like they wait for you to advance in it and then they come right back right back around and reverse your technology, reverse engineer it, and then they got the same thing, maybe even better, because now they could spend on packaging and stuff because you spend on the research and the funding and get it. So it's like they coming behind Waymo like 10 years of learning and, or a damn near decade, right, of learning and, and mistakes and different things in this city. Now they coming behind them, boom, boom, boom. Now they like, Elon got a problem. They built too many Cybertrucks. They built too many Teslas. No, we didn't. We about to put these motherfuckers on the road as robo-taxis. And then you know what? After 20,000 miles, you could buy one after it's been on the road for 50,000 miles or whatever, uh, cheaper. It's certified Tesla pre-owned robo-taxi, taken care of and everything, been serviced and everything. Well, there's a will, there's a way. Let me know what y'all think about this. Waymo or Tesla, cave dwellers? Tell me in the comments. Let's go.